Don't ask me how you're doing. Oftentimes, you never know. That's a good question. <laughs> Lord, you, you are indeed moving. Your spirit is moving. And for too long, people have been making a mockery of your name and misunderstanding the point of what you are doing. You will get our attention. Father, we thank you that you are continuing to open our eyes, to open our ears, to hear you, Lord. I thank you for these two brothers here that know you, Lord, that know their Father. They know the sound of your voice. We thank you, Lord, for the work you continue to do in Andy and I's family, Father. Continue to refine them. To better reflect your family, your kingdom. We lift up this time to you, God. Pray that we hear from you. That you use the time to continue to open our eyes a little your truth and your love and your ancient ways, Lord. God, I do want to lift Kim up to you with her kidney. Pray for release, Lord. I pray that the block may be removed, God. Mm. We trust you, Father. No matter what that looks like, we do trust you, Lord. In your name, amen. Amen. Hope this tea is okay. It's my new recipe. Uh Uh-oh. Yeah. Why are we always guinea pigs, Andy? (laughs) What? Yeah, you're special. That's, that's, that's why I wanted to get in the tank. That's fair. Very fair, sir. That's where I right. <laughs> This guy's terrible. <laughs> Don't appreciate my special special treatment. Is it spicy? No. no. It's sweet. Uh, it will be worse sweet. <laughs> we'll be have honey. Mm. Uh, uh. Yes, sir. Mm. Yeah. We had a lovely time last night. We went to oh, wow. meet with the Lacasses. Okay. <laughs> out in Forks out there. Nice. Mm. Had a nice dinner. And actually, Lady, Lady came with me in the morning. I went to work out at Bear Creek. And Lady went to go hang out with the Lacasses oh, during the daytime. Uh-huh. They came back and got me for dinner time. But I'll see. But we had a nice dinner and then mm-hmm. we were all. Kind of sitting around just chit- chitty chatting, chitty chatting, <laughs> and then uh, mm-hmm. it was time to pray. Mm. And uh, had some pretty amazing breakthrough. Oh, wow! Oh, uh, with uh, Lady, mm. and I feel with Becky and Emma, wow. yeah, all at once. Uh, mm-hmm. They were, uh, they were, Nicole was. Mm, encouraging Lede to to break free of the boundaries or the something that's been holding her back from speaking and, and being able to mm-hmm. be used by God to speak into others' lives. Mm. And she mm-hmm. feels like she's been just kind of hiding in the background and trying to make make the best you know or like watch other Fine. people's yeah. things and mm-hmm. be yeah yeah just kind of like a background character that you know she loves god and she's she's watching what's going on she's yeah enjoying the movement and the mm-hmm. things that are happening but she's just kind of a background character not really a part of the, uh-huh. the flow you know too much yeah 
I think the college started stealing and payment the third, man. Mm-hmm. And so Nicole was being being spent, spent. encouraging her to break free of that. Oh, wow. And it was, it was pretty uh it was pretty cool. Like there was some mm. She was struggling with it for a bit, and then and then she just was able to just release and and pray, and she prayed over uh, Benji and mm. Emma, and mm. this is Lady Day. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And over Nicole and Caden and Kayla. Wow. And, and mm. yeah, they all they <laughs> they all felt like it was like. Or they didn't all feel that. A couple of them felt like it was God talking to them directly. Mm. Like it was like not just Lede saying mm. something nice. Mm. Or, you know. mm. And uh, and almost all of them said that they felt like a wave of of like God's um, presence, of power, presence, yeah, yeah, and power right, yeah, come yeah. over mm. them. And yeah. Justin had a vision, and I had a vision, and Benji had a vision. Oh wow! All about almost the same exact thing. Oh wow! Yeah, that's that's encouraging. What's the vision? Um, well, Justin's vision was that the the moon has a dark side. You know, mm. the the dark side of the moon never gets seen by anybody because it's always um, it's always on the other yeah, side yeah. from us. And, and so he was saying that it's time to. For the that side to be seen, mm. the side that hasn't been seen, the light's gonna come to it and mm. it's gonna shine. And mm. I, I had a vision that I saw like a world out in space, and there was like it didn't look like the moon, but it looked like another world, mm. kind of floating out in space, but like you could see light peeking from behind the world oh, wow. and shining onto the other mm-hmm. the other side. Mm-hmm. So it's almost like an eclipse mm-hmm. was releasing. And then Benji saw, actually Benji saw something that he thought he didn't think about, but later on Nicole related it to Emma, mm. that he saw a world out in space, but it had like spikes all over it. Mm. And then Nicole related it to uh, um, the different schools of thought mm. on the earth and the different mm. powers that had built up their structures on earth. Mm. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, she was prophesying that Emma was going to come up against those powers when, mm. as she grows into what God has for her. And mm. Yeah, some pretty mm. yeah. beautiful things. Absolutely. And like, you had to be there and know, know what's really taking place, but it seems very exciting. Bless the Lord. Yeah, man. yeah, very much. Mm. Very much so. Mm. And Nicole was encouraging Benjamin to uh, step out too as well. Mm. Almost in the same way, like with Lady, mm. that he's been maybe kind of hiding back a little bit, and that God is speaking to him, and he's not taking the cues. You know, he's not taking the. Mm-hmm. He's not translating what he's hearing to other people. Maybe, maybe because of worry that he's not going to be right, or worry that you know mm. how they're going to take it, or you know. Mm-hmm. So. That was encouraging. Mm-hmm. Mr. Benji, he was, or Miss Emma, they were encouraging her about her artwork mm. and, and music and stuff like that, that it was mm. going to be a powerful mm. uh, thing that God was going to use in the future. Mm. Mm. So. Hallelujah. Yeah. A lot of things going on, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a lot of things chest wires. Uh, that's beautiful, brother. Mm. Mm. What are you? Something get must said about you. <laughs> you said, uh, that old guy, I don't know about him. No, I just Oh, don't. yeah. <laughs> okay, I think so. Yeah. I can't remember. No opinion. <laughs> I, was, I wasn't in the limelight. It was my kids. Uh, yeah. Which I'm happy about. <laughs> mm. Glory to God. Yeah. yeah. I see them mm. flourishing. Yeah. Mm. Come out from under my wing mm. and be willing to mm. be led by the Father. Amen. Amen. You don't like the team? Oh, I do. Yeah. You do? Yep. I do. It's very different. I like it. Mm. So not piggy, 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 what? Piggy, piggy. What is it called? Piggy? Uh, yeah. What is it you used? 
use the word to try something new, you know, somebody, what do you use the word for? When somebody tries something? Like when somebody doesn't like to try things? No, he just talk, talk to me. You always do something to us, something, I forgot the words. Oh, I can't, I can't connect it right now. That's I'm sorry. okay, that's okay. Yeah. It'll hit me later, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Good. What about you? Yes, there's a lot of things with you. So. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, yeah, I mean, it's been a big, there's been a big stirring up in the spirit. I mean, just mm. from Wednesday night, you know, was obviously, mm. I thought, very powerful in what the, yeah. the Lord did and the way he moved. And Where you took away from Wednesday night, down to this, the, I mean, you can talk any prior. Yeah, but if, no, no, I mean, mm. I, it was just, I mean, I was texting with Rachel about it, but just, mm. I mean, seeing her daughter's hearts. I mean, it was just, they were, they were beautiful. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I, not even just specifically those two in this comment, but I think we literally saw a lot of healing mm-hmm. right before our eyes, yeah. you know? Um, and it, anyway, it, it was just powerful. I mean, it was really, really powerful. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. and then Friday, you know, Kim's kidney starts acting up a lot of things start kind of a lot of visions popped up, and it was just a very kind of, I don't know, spiritually active day, mm, or maybe my, yeah. maybe it's always that active, and I just caught it that day, you know, uh, I, yeah. I don't know, but. Mm. Um, you saw some visions? I mean, no, it was just, it, I, I did not personally, um, but it, it, in it, it just, I think God is really on the move, and I mean, some of those, mm. those visions are, um they they could I mean they're potentially really really big you know yeah if uh, different caliber yeah, yeah. some mm-hmm. of the stuff that he posted yeah oh okay yeah same it's all the same kind yeah, of yeah. theme I'm sorry I'm really not trying to no, that's right. I was just trying to make sure that yeah understood where where we were yeah what we were talking about mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. had a beautiful time on uh, Friday evening that's my dedicated time with Tim mm. and so we yeah. had a, at least from my perspective really good time together um, it's just you know, we're getting there, there's a lot we all have these you know, things you kind of got to get through before you can really kind of start getting to truth, yes, you know, yes. things on your own, in your own life and mm-hmm. kind of, mm-hmm. you know, just anyway, I feel like we're really kind of, we've kind of worked through so much of that, that if we now have a lot of freedom to be able to mm-hmm. kind of operate and at yeah. least more so than we've had before. And so mm-hmm. that's a, that's a very welcome thing for me. Bless the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your brother-in-law too. I mean, you've known him for a yeah. long time. Yeah. And now yeah. There's a different season of your guys' relationship, which yeah. is cool. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. You're drinking it too Be- fast. Better, better hurry up, or else you know. Huh? Look at that. It's too, it's too hot. hot. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's not a taste thing. I'm letting it cool down. That's where Chin- Chinese people. It's different than you guys. <laughs> you guys mm. burned your tongues already. You yeah, exactly. we drink tea all the time. Callous. Uh, yeah. Holy callous. <laughs> yeah, we eat soup. Mm. Noodles. All kinds of things. That's true. The slurping. The slurping is a thing. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You gotta learn how to slurp. Nope. Slurping is Japanese. So. Oh, really? Oh, I thought it was... <laughs> 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 really? Oh, the slurping is actually what works, though. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's an Asian trick, man. You don't even know that. So I don't know. Do <laughs> people do that with a reason, man. Yeah. yeah. It cools it down. In, in our culture, it's discouraged. I don't. <laughs> yeah. Just FYI. No, I'm not saying that at all. I used to just say the culture we come from. That's just, just don't do that. Intentionally, the upset kid, it just. Encourage her to give some comments. <laughs> <laughs> She's a word tactic accommodated, but sometimes, you know, someday I'm gonna teach you anything. <laughs> <laughs> she don't do rag about it. <laughs> There's certain restaurant that's just like, uh oh, you What's know, you on? must put on something on us, you know, <laughs> everything's you have, you know. Just, you know, the only uh, second restaurant is next door acting totally different. You know? so, <laughs> <laughs> the food is not better, the price is not better, this is the waiter is there, whatever. You know, there is interesting culture there. So. Mm. I just like loud, noisy, 
Being me. Yeah, <laughs> gotta make some noise while you're eating, isn't it? Enjoy oh, it. In the world, in the restaurant, don't want to talk. I know. I mean, I don't want to say it's over the top and noisy and, yeah. and new, what, uh, nauseous, whatever, you know, but you can't even. Obnoxious. Yeah, obnoxious. You, you can't even talk mm. in your normal voice, you know, <laughs> have a good time together. Yeah, you would you would actually fit in really well in Spain. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah I'll go to Spain. So yeah, they're all so. about talking. <laughs> oh yeah. Loud, like in the it's restaurant. Eating time is relaxing time, friendship time, you know. So yeah, <laughs> cracking joke time. Mm. That's, uh, yeah. We gotta go. On. Yeah, we gotta go on. Some you gotta do that as well. So yeah. Mm-hmm. In this place, man, every time I get right, just afraid to make a mistake, somebody will laugh at you. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> we uh, <laughs> we 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 breed that culture breeds little perfectionists, you know, um, that are that I, are scared to fail, and you know, I mean, that, yeah, that I mean, that's one thing. But it's like a. It's a feat, and right, it's just like uh, compared to be somebody you don't want to be. I yeah. mean, yeah. And you know it's a fake. Mm-hmm. Everybody knows it's a fake. Mm-hmm. So, but they can't be it themselves. I mean, it's good manners always encouraged, but if that's not good manners. It's a fake manners. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. So. For example, you can't have children there to walk around or doing things. Yeah. It's like forbidding, right? I so children are stuck. Better not bring children, by the way. So. Yeah. What? When were, you, when were you a child? Huh? Talking about them. Yeah. Like, when, when they were kids, did they not go around? I don't know. I don't know. Or? So, you know, restaurants should be a family, you know, like an extensive family. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe people, people have different cultures. Most of those carried by court, court culture. Which is a word corrupt culture. What culture? Court. Oh, okay. You know. In the courtroom. In the court, when the nobles. Yeah. And... Aristocratic culture, like a oh, oh, French, yeah, yeah, yeah. Britain doing mm-hmm. those things. You know, yeah. they had to train your manners. So. Yeah. You had to go to school for that, then, right? Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, you don't sit down. You can only stand. Yeah, that's and, all you do. Yeah. The ladies, you know, it's a large edict. Go to school, the large edicts, you know, so mm-hmm. whatever. So. Yeah, so they don't do much except to learn to write, read, and then doing household. Yeah, mm-hmm. and that's the women's school is about, the mm-hmm. girls' school is about. So yeah, proper women's etiquette. Yeah, can yeah. you pour me some more soon? No, it's, you can pour yourself. Well, aren't you? Aren't you the? That's yours. No, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> aren't you the? We're the guests, aren't you the? <laughs> no. I thought the uh, the. In China, the uh... it's the China greatest honor to let guests to serve themselves. Oh really? It's, that's highly honor. Oh cool. <laughs> Just making stuff up. Okay. No, <laughs> that's true. Nicky at O's. You like it, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really good. Mm-hmm. It's that's healthy. It's yummy. This is real healthy tea. It's flour. This honey. That's not really oh honey, but it means a person honey. So mm-hmm. hope so. Oh, it's a tea. Mm-hmm. Okay, like that other one you had at the at the studio. Yes. That ginger yes. one. Yes. That, that yes. one was amazing. Yeah, and so there's different fruits with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Now, what is the young lady doing? She reached out to me, want to talk about the. What well, the baptism stuff then? So mm. I said, maybe you can talk to your parents a little bit more. You know, yeah. It's harder to, to chat or text about those topics. So, sure. yeah. Has she taken the chance to do that? We um, we have, and I, I think there needs to be a couple more conversations first. Sure. But mm. um, yeah, I Wednesday night, uh, I, she was just glowing as a, as a human, right? Oh, wow. And just, I could tell, just happy and mm. free mm. you know i mean that's that's how she responded to you know everything that was happening oh, and yeah, yeah. she even prayed some uh, beautiful words for one of cheryl's girls oh, wow. um and so she's she's having a, a breakthrough mm. for sure yeah um and so uh, it's 
very encouraging. And I, you know, even just get to get to talk to her about that of mm. like, I saw how happy you were Wednesday night. Yeah. Right. I saw it. I mean, it was yeah. all over you, you know, just, yeah. just, just talking through that with her. Was yeah. Just, it's very, well, that's the Lord. very encouraging. Yeah. So did she ask you guys about baptism? She, on herself or on her own or? she said that she wants to talk to us and we just haven't had the opportunity. Yeah. Yeah, John is moving that young lady. I pray you her, look at her a little bit. Tears is all, mm -hmm. you know, in her eyes. And uh, normally she don't look at you, you know, mm -hmm. so, at least me. So, <laughs> and she just, oh, her eyes so beautiful, teary, mm -hmm. pure, and everything. So, I say, God, the spirit's on you. Touch your heart, and you know, mm -hmm. she knows it, you know, so, mm -hmm. yeah, God touched me. Uh -huh. Yeah, God power mm -hmm. touched her. Mm -hmm. We should pray for Haiti, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. together. Yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. So, God is doing something very special in our young people, you know. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Amen. With that, if n nothing further to report, you know, so. Well, two weeks we met in Wrangler, so, mm -hmm. but anything means there before we launch in some, mm. you know, either Q&A or some more sub, sub, substantial topics. Sure. Yeah. I had a breakthrough mm. personally. Go ahead. Talk over, to us. Over yeah. the last uh, mm. couple of weeks, just, uh, I think, I think I might've mentioned it to you before in time before but i don't know if i i think i've mentioned it to you too actually and separate mm. separately but mm. just had a hard time trusting that god can provide for me mm. <laughs> which is silly i know but mm -hmm. you know it's an easy it's an easy in for the devil mm. i think and so he keeps pushing me on it he keeps mm. he's found you know a way to to get me upset and then he just mm. keeps using it and i keep getting upset mm. <laughs> so it's kind of like this constant yeah, yeah. you know like yeah. easy in and easy mm -hmm. failure for me so mm -hmm. just trusting that god's going to provide um, mm -hmm. I, I i just like i do i know that he's god and i trust him mm -hmm. like when i when i say it i i, I know it's true like i, I really do trust him mm -hmm. but my actions would keep saying that somewhere deep inside of me I would try and go back to my own strength and my own mm. uh, capabilities to mm. understand it and then also try to provide mm. for myself. So, yeah. so it was just like this like constant feeling of like, I'm like a dual, a dual, yeah, back forth. A dual yeah. thing. Yeah. Like, yeah. I can't yeah. have a, I can't have peace because I'm like, I really do trust you, Lord. I really do, <laughs> but I can't, I can't get past myself, like something inside can't of me. Let go of it. Yeah, I won't, mm -hmm. won't really trust you all the way. Like, which is weird because I really want to, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I just don't know how to. And anyway, mm -hmm. this last week, I I just came to a place, and I just was just ready to give up mm -hmm. more of myself, and mm -hmm. and I guess the the. <laughs> That was part of it, I guess, was mm. that uh, mm. that holding on to trying to take care, you know, and make things happen on my own. Mm. Just, yeah, just mm. feel like I, I was able to release that and mm. be free of mm. Mm. something holding me back. So mm. that was, I think that was about a week and a half ago. So. Oh, well, that's a little bit of that. Yeah. Went. That's the first time I heard about it. Oh, that's okay. good. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. A couple of nights ago, I had a dream about you. I was being stressed out because of provision problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I've uh, been praying for you for some breakthrough and that. I said, what's going on, girl? Yeah, I don't normally dream people, you know, so, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah. Hallelujah. We'll pray for you, brother. You know, the thing about that, and I have some comments, but uh, I don't want to, to interject and interrupt your pace. Do you have a further thing you want to share? 
Thank you for that testimony. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, I guess, I, just the feeling of not having that like dueling thing anymore mm. has been really nice. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how else to say yeah. it. Just, hey, to go it's all really, load bird and yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Really freeing on my mind. Yeah. So. And yep. God's been working on me. And there's, there's other things that have broken free over. Mm. over the last couple of years you know yeah you've seen it on me like <laughs> well you different definitely different person <laughs> when i first yeah. showed up I, I couldn't keep my head up or i wouldn't look at people very well that's <laughs> right and you're always on the fringe you know yeah, some corner the there <laughs> i mean it takes time <laughs> to get to know with people you. Yeah. Yeah. there's been yes. a lot of there's been a lot of growth and part of the humanity you know, in unkindness when you shoot on people in a part of, i think there is a a sense of a uncomfortable you know certain thing or oh, oh, reserved rather so unfamiliar mm -hmm. so yeah that's unnatural yeah hallelujah yet yeah, mm -hmm. to see Sudefa sitting here relaxed <laughs> you can really hear each other's heart mm -hmm. care less about the surface you know stuff like that that's a miracle right mm -hmm. so, yeah absolutely yeah. that's a miracle mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I appreciate the answer from the bottom of the heart in us. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hold no grudge against each other, no false judgment. That's, that's huge. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. A lot of judgment against you guys. But it, for good. <laughs> 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 I'm telling you. I'm telling you. No. It's just the wrong word. You know, you see the God's normally we think there's no pattern therefore we see everything's individualized or particularly situational mm -hmm. so really it's when you go through and you recognize it there's a pattern mm -hmm. uh, yeah so we're clear mm -hmm. actually we're easy to discern where people are in the lord in you know, so, yeah mm -hmm. on condition the heart is settled and walk with the lord you know so even that is the case, you still know the season growth, you know, where they are. So I think that's only proper. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, it, as a leadership, we don't know that. That's a problem. You know, so, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> we should know that. You know, so we don't know everything, but at least uh, where the season is. You know, so it's time to lay down the root, it's time to build up the stem, it's time to branch it out, it's time ready for flower, you know, it's time for. Maturing to some fruits, you know, so mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah. to their pattern, so yeah. yeah. On that topic, if you mind me, just using a couple minutes to 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 share something. I think a worldly economy in general that's a systemized idealize especially American modern and social security system other systems when industrialization come around even Asian days will still have this idea to make a provision for your future mm. so you know for one case <laughs> that's, that's building so that's a, it's called the social security you know the government begin to do that encourage you as a system even prior to that people still do savings am I Trying to see or build mm. something or get some kind for of yeah, prepare the world bad days in a sense. So then it's definitely a responsibility and a wise application of life economy. You can't totally denounce that, say that's wrong. Uh, especially when you're a family man like you guys are. Mm -hmm. So that, however, can be used by the devil to accuse you, mm -hmm. think you are worldly people, you try to, it's just materialistic, you know, being in a lifestyle. I don't think that who you are, make some decision, make some plans. That's the only reasonable to be a faithful, wise steward for mm -hmm. your family. It's your job. The, the Paul actually talked about this. So, when you're a family, you in take care of family, there are different levels to be a disciple or be a believer. And one of the things we often use in the Bible is unwisely thinking they're all the same. Mm -hmm. 
we think everybody has to be a Peter, drop everything, follow Jesus, or else you're nobody in the Lord. Well, I don't know. You know, then we emphasize the young, rich young ruler's example, as rich young ruler is never good. I don't know. You know, that is uh, in Jesus' teaching, but eventually mitigated somehow by Paul in practical walking. I mean, it's impossible to think Peter will abandon his life, follow Jesus, and leave his family in disarray and uh, a lack. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. This is unkind. Mm -hmm. You know, so, is that making sense to you? You know, so. And Jesus never talked about money, but he also didn't say that's required for everybody. Mm -hmm. Actually, he was, have a little bit economic team around him. Mm -hmm. Arrange the provision. You, you see my point, you know, got food for him even on the tra 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 traveling mm -hmm. seasons. Eventually, the ministry is more stabilized. There's a bunch of women take care of those things. Mm -hmm. You have the Asian days, people don't mad, don't do cooking, don't do washing. Mm -hmm. so it's not, they don't take care of household stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a very natural for man to be a rabbi, to be a teacher. And women with a provision, whatever is going to supply to support. That's what's 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 opposite of the we how the team work together, right? So, and those women in ancient days also recognize women is not like today or other time we think they all poor depend on the husband. That's not true. Mm -hmm. In ancient days, women actually can own a lot of money, mm -hmm. a lot of estates. Mm -hmm. So the ones follow Jesus, many of them actually were resourceful. Mm -hmm. I mean, they can come through a party for a lot of people with this, however, they don't have fun. Hey, three days are going to ride to your place. <laughs> Is that my point? And that's uh, who can provide that with that? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, this is 12 follow him. That's a huge party already. And what about the others? Mm -hmm. And they have to eat yep. and the rest. So you can imagine the huge estates mm -hmm. around. Is that make sense to you? Which is normal in Asian days, mm -hmm. you know, so people have a big estate. I'm talking about sometimes people invite them and come to me. Zakia, Zakia, Zakia. What is the in the tall tree? Zakias, we're going to go to your place, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you know, so, yeah. You know, Messi also is a little bit rich, and right? he was a tax collector. Mm -hmm. yeah. So is a Peter life, well to do. We, do, we all think, think it's so poor, desperate. Mm -hmm. John's life was well to do. Paul's life, in normal days, was well to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are different people, you know, understandable. Yep. So we have this very crazy idea. John is a relative to the high priest of those days. Mm -hmm. He's a family deeply involved. Paul was also deeply involved the priesthood. Think about his nephew. He was a disciple of Gamaliel. How many people can be a disciple of Gamaliel? You have to have me to do that. Mm -hmm. Same with the tuition. Mm -hmm. you know, so, so those days, uh, be a teacher is well provided. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, know, you must pay a lot of, more than, more than like more than school tuition, you just there is a token, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Mm -hmm. so those are building in. That's mm -hmm. why they're able to be a teacher. So. Teacher highly respected. Mm -hmm. so, um, so um, my point is that we have this very distorted modern day eye to look at Jesus. There are extreme moments, you know, they were in huge lack. You know, think about the good old privilege. You can't buy anything, you cannot have anything. There are a lot of poor people on the run. You mentioned resources, you can't always carry everything, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, they're wrong out. That's extremes, I believe, you know, so. But my point come to this is that there is a, a, a stewardship. Judas, every single reason, trusted somehow take care of the money. Mm -hmm. There was, you know. So there was obviously stuff coming through. Yeah, the officer, some of the little bit of management is not all disarray. Jesus had to entrust somebody to take care of them. They had to talk about doing things. You know, they will take care of the eating, for example, a eat teacher. Mm -hmm. You know, so is that making sense to you? You know, so 
in the 12 guys to get food going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, 12, three hours, I'm going to cook for you. I take two hours for me to get. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But the, all those I, with religious or idealist mind, we all escape from our, our mind. We think we every day walk in supernatural, everything's to come. That's not true. The point is, Jesus and disciples are legal, word down to earth life. Mm -hmm. However, they did subscribe to something, mm -hmm. often supernaturally provisioned. That is something, the next thing I want to talk about. So when Jesus told Peter, call those people other old, I would call station for life, am I? The station of their life. Out, out of their station. Yeah. Uh, out of Peter was no more a business fisher, business fisherman, mm -hmm. so. And Matthew is no more tax collector. So, and did Jesus have to take care of everything their whole stay? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You know, did he just say you give everything off? I don't think you either. Mm -hmm. You know, he rather led them. So you make your own provision, right? You want to be my disciple? I'm going to demand your time. You know, follow me, serve me around. Make your household work, you know? So, mm -hmm. does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. You know, so. He did not take on the burden of provision for them or supernaturally provision for them. Mm -hmm. That's a mistake more than church entity has subscribed to. It's a myth. Mm -hmm. So, um, is that because to you guys? You know, so they do share a lot, obviously, mm -hmm. mutually help one another, but he don't necessarily enter into a host or the economy that much. Mm -hmm. You know, each one still tie. Yeah. Is it good? <laughs> no, yeah. so yeah. they still pay tie. They might pay taxes. So. Think about those things. So yeah. Peter in charge, obviously. So yeah. So or Peter getting war rather. Sorry. Yeah. So um, my point is that therefore that delineation is recognized in our life. What is the station God set us in? And what did God call us to do? Mm -hmm. You know. So is that making sense to you? He had not sent us away. Said. Leave your family, you know, leave behind. Make the free version, let, let's do something else. Mm -hmm. We're not in that place yet. And that is, I think, more appropriate are we doing church life. Mm -hmm. But Jesus was a, a mission, a, a preaching mission, you know? Mm -hmm. Send out to do, go here, just never have roots in mm -hmm. a sense. What he wants is like a Paul talking about, like go to the Gentile world, unbelieving world. How people can get grouped together in local setting, become a, lo a, a functioning community, how one and I become a bigger family. You mm -hmm. see my point? Yep. Actually, unplug them from the natural family, mm -hmm. natural social fabrics, to become its own people. Mm -hmm. That's why they call the cold out people, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to become a community. Today, we somehow translated that into a different setting. You know, most of the church members are life is still in the world. Mm. They don't share things together except to give to the church. Yeah, yeah. So they, they don't they don't really care one another as if they really is your neighbor, am I? So mm -hmm. or your your next brother. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we just watched this morning. Uh -huh. uh, my wife's sister mm. has a son who's seventeen. Yeah. Just a just a few months ahead of Benji and mm. He just got baptized this morning. Oh, nice! In Spain, mm. but he's his family has been going to um, this church that's a it's kind of a just a dead church. <laughs> oh, okay. They pretty much just are doing church. You know, they they yeah, go on Sundays. Church, yeah. They mm -hmm. do their church stuff. They yeah. go on Wednesdays. They do their sure Bible study and, mm -hmm. and I don't, I'm not I'm not trying to judge everybody, but from what we've seen, we we went to that church for. The year and a half that we were oh, living okay. there in Spain, mm -hmm. and it's just pretty much just a country club church mm -hmm. where they just kind of everybody mm -hmm. everybody just shakes each other's hands and oh mm -hmm. good to see you good morning good morning yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 there's nothing else you don't see yeah, anybody yeah, yeah. for the rest yeah. of the week and it's more like a city church these days you know so yeah. Yeah. So we've seen they call a community church already. Only if you guys know each other actually, mm -hmm. <laughs> or you can actually hang out yeah, extra yeah, time yeah, yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Well, my, my not criticizing anybody, it's the same. No. In Jesus' understanding, those cold out ones, 
set apart from their normal flu life, mm-hmm. he encouraged them to adopt a different culinary for life. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about what you're going to eat. Don't worry about what you drink. You know, don't worry about it. You know, go out, don't carry a purse, right? So to basically don't pr- make provision for your tomorrow. Yeah. That, that's basically, obviously, somehow he transferred you from a, a normal station. It's got the life, still he's a, mm. he's a follower, to a mission field. So that is obviously apply. You look at the poem Timothy into to to episode to Timothy. You found that Paul continually encouraged Timothy to set himself apart as a an enlisted soldier. Mm-hmm. You know, so enlisted soldier. I mean, soldier in Asian days more strict than today. Even mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. you know, so it was a consequence. It's in the Roman world. Mm-hmm. You know, so so pay your salary. You stay with the army all the time. Mm-hmm. So professional soldier, you know, so yeah, yeah. that's what I'm talking about, you mm-hmm. know, so yeah. You may not get to see your family for I years mean, you go to England, and see that I live a bunch of the nice, nice legend, <laughs> nice, what <laughs> the word, <laughs> the nice uh, legend, you know, they have regiment, whatever, you mm-hmm. know, so go to England. Mm-hmm. For a long time, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. So the legions, yeah. legions, yeah, yeah. 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 Now they have different uh, regiments, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, so is that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. You know, so you go there, conquer the land, you stay there, start your own family. Mm-hmm. So you never see your family. Ever I again. know. So mm-hmm. you know, look at the <coughs> gladiator called Marcus. I live. I. I was not good with the uh, uh, Roman name, so uh, uh, really, Sicilius, you know. So he was twenty years, hmm. half his time or more <coughs> than half his time, major his uh, time as a Caesar. He was a fight in the north against the barbarians, the barbarians, you know. So hmm. yeah, that's why Roman later on become a disarray for him, mm-hmm. you know. So. Sorry, I'm saying he's not in the capital city, yep. uh, you know. So yeah, yeah, he's fighting there on the front. Mm-hmm. So, mm. so you know, twenty years. I mean, mm-hmm. you know, some. I'm way. not sure. Sure, okay. You, you, my history is not that good, mm-hmm. but I only briefly know. So, yeah, it's impossible mm-hmm. to have things in good order if twenty years unplug yourself from the center of a political culture center. Mm-hmm. So that's where our wise way to do life. So as a leader, mm-hmm. and that's a, a huge mistake for his life. Mm-hmm. So, but he was driven by noble character, sacrifice, you know, those kind of achievements mm-hmm. as a general. But you are not more than a general. You are not more than one defeat the enemy. You, you know, regardless of formula the one, you must govern your nation. You know, mm-hmm. as a central leadership. But he was not doing. It. I'm not saying good or bad. It's just talking about the positional lead is a mistake. So, ah, oh, sorry, weird off the topic. So, yeah, my point. Is you also need to really study what God called you to do. So God called us to <clears throat> to develop a community life, and with community business in mind. So. I'm I'm not trying to put it in an awkward place, oh. but I'm thinking about, um, you know, you become part of that, Andy. <clears throat> I su- suspect you're not able to afford by God's design to make your own future. Your future is deeply tied with the community, mm. whether in that in this place or that place, I don't know. You know, so is that making sense to you? I think many young family, maybe part of you included. Don't really understand the prosperity will not come into your family, even work together. Mm-hmm. You watch hand, you work away. That's a different story. Mm-hmm. Because God wants one to us more than this fellowship together. He wants us to live together, mm-hmm. to share life together. Mm-hmm. When the adults are able to share life together, the young people said, "Wow, I don't have to go out there to mm-hmm. find my future, my my provision life. Mm-hmm. I can do this, you mm-hmm. know." So. That's what I'm saying. In you guys, many times try to wake you up. You only have five years to do that. Mm-hmm. 
if you don't have this is five years, twenty years, maybe you're going to be. He's gonna have to think about the future look like. He's mm -hmm. gonna have his own family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's this five years you and a lady able to really chart the course for more than your life and become a model to lay out some foundation with him is it okay, I can do that with my parents, you know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm the same, you know, so mm -hmm. yeah. It's not we tie to the wings down says so stay with us in the nest. It's not that. It's as far as I said, hey, this thing is a God's plan. Mm -hmm. And this I don't think humanity have the chance to practice so many people. Mm -hmm. So this is a this is a God game opportunity. I really don't think anybody actually afford the chance to do it. They may long to do it, they don't find the right people mm -hmm. and the willing generation to do it. We have everything to succeed in this. That's my statement. Mm -hmm. We have everything to take to succeed in this. And maybe you more have more resources, more support, more quick success is a detrimental thing for you. Mm -hmm. Thinking, thinking louder, mm -hmm. thinking wiser. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want young people to see you and see God's work in your life. From have nothing, from hardship, struggles, mm -hmm. because that's a life school. Mm -hmm. Things university cannot teach you, business school cannot teach you, mm -hmm. cheap success will not teach you to buy their own you, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So I don't think our hardship of working through certain things, wrestle with certain things, is a robbery to young people. That's a, that's a shallow mind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a shallow thinking. Mm -hmm. I want them to feel the burn, mm -hmm. go through the troubles, mm -hmm. seeing our sweat, our struggle, our tears. Right? Watching so, yeah. decision making occurring. Exactly, too. exactly. So a uh, getting old, mm -hmm. you know, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to learn to mean your job is not a robbery to them mm -hmm. or the shame to them, rather with whom we're doing it, for what the reason we're doing it. Yeah. We're not working for money. Tim and I have talked yeah. about it yeah. a bunch, and I'm sure you guys have too. But yeah. I mean, the yeah. the beauty of grannies with, oh, yeah. with our young people. Yeah, you know, I mean, it is. Yeah, it's a school. I mean, it really is. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. To, to teach character. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Hope everybody walk away from it. They will be eventually able to handle business. Mm -hmm. You know, able to handle any job. Yeah. It's not the skill set. Exactly. It's the relationship. Absolutely. Yeah, relationship. Yeah. Enabling, so yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, um, eating and no I have done tremendous job, absolutely. you know, so think about it. Mm -hmm. How old are they? They're not that old, yeah, so absolutely. yeah. So you're able to exercise that. That give a lot of hope for young people who said, I can do this, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah. And think of how much Noah is growing as a leader. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. His, his, his <laughs> yeah. capability when he gets to be our age is going to be immense. Yeah. Immense. Yeah. 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 Immense. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. There you go. So is it, so is it, Benji. Mm -hmm. Benji began to flourish. So, yeah. Yeah. I, text, I texted you that just the other day. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, uh, the Lord encouraged me to invest more in his life. So I'm mm -hmm. going to do that. So pretty. Yeah. So it's your work. You're, you're young, right? You know, so. mm -hmm. Huge potential. But the most important is the winning heart, man. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. The heart is all in. Absolutely. Yeah, there's not any other agenda. Mm -hmm. You don't really care about it. Mm -hmm. You know, success. You know, I don't. I, they, I, so far, I don't see anything to track them. So yeah. yeah, it's 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 mind and spirit, as we all know. Yeah, and truth and spirit. And yeah. to your point, there's a willing heart. Yeah, and it it makes sense to them. Yeah, I mean, it, you know what I mean. It's, it's a delight in it. They, it's not like they're about, like yeah. I don't know what's going on here, but yeah. I'm just gonna. Believe, I mean, they they're like, no, we get it. Yeah, right? yeah, it's like, yeah. really get it. You yeah. know, it's excited about it. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's funny because yeah. you and me were kind of like coming like. Yeah, I don't really understand what's going on right now, but I'm okay. Yeah, with that. our mean, hearts were like our hearts were always willing, right? Yeah, we, just, yeah. we weren't up here, right? Yeah. But God uses that, you know. Yeah, because he... yeah, we had we had some other stuff put into us as we were. Yes, we were yes. I, yeah. I don't try to criticize you guys no. or the environment group. I think you're beautiful people. <laughs> How beautiful people raise you up. But still, their mm -hmm. mindset, mm -hmm. yep. the mindset is, the orientation is wrong. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Noah, actually, maybe worth the lessening, the church 
uh, Chinese culture, I do the little bit the, you know, what I call it, you know, a bird with a mm-hmm. whole culture building start uh, the orientation things. Somebody asked me, I want to know the Asian way. There's an Asian way, that is God's way. We understand that everything becomes so clear. Mm-hmm. It's impossible to not know. Mm-hmm. You know, it's impossible to not know. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Huh? Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. You go to quick growth. You go to after the rain. You go to the forest on the ground. You will find different mushroom pop up in the in kind of season, right? Mm-hmm. You, you don't know which classroom is good or bad. You have to discern which is which. Mm-hmm. But for the serious tree. Like apple tree, pearl tree, whatever tree. I the healthy tree or I mean eatable tree or not, you most likely you will know, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. Because it's not a quick growth. Mm-hmm. So is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. You know, so you know what the fruit's really there. You are mostly able to discern it. Mm-hmm. It's not quick growth. I don't know how to explain to you, mm-hmm. you know. So yeah, so you you go there, you look at the way how they grow, if you, in your neighborhood, right? Mm-hmm. So, you may don't know mushroom, <laughs> so, yeah. but you will know, definitely know what the tree is, good or bad. Oh, you I know? see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I yeah. see what you're saying. Yeah. So, is it my point? Yeah. You know, so, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. You, you have abundant co- confidence that that, not tr- that tree, I don't want to eat, that tree is good. I mean, you didn't even pick it. That tree is a sweet, this one is not that sweet, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is good. You, you you know exactly what you're getting to basically. So yeah. not like the mushroom pop after the rain exactly. with that no. You know? yep. So yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So quick growth is what? Sometimes difficult mm-hmm. to know how to deal with it. Mm-hmm. But intimate growth mm-hmm. give a long time to observe, to appropriate. That's my thinking about the young people. Mm-hmm as well. Don't most Western Christian, Western education you try to thrive on people for quick success. Mm-hmm. The pressure is there, the expectation is there, you know, so and the quick success is success in what? Mm-hmm. I mean what? Mm-hmm. <laughs> a best scientist, a best politician in those things? But that's what a man educated they think they achieve something. Then you look at their life, it's tragic. Mm-hmm. You know, they really don't know themselves. So that kind of life is a waste and an education distortion. Mm-hmm. So because it put you, it, it distorted personality, it distorted your what is supposed to be important in life. Mm-hmm. And uh, then education take it for a long time. To, to to put root down and right? mm-hmm. to to know what's what's it built up with. So, so that take a take a long time engagement. That's my suggestion suggestion for discipleship. Jesus did not came and said, Hey, I started, you got wicked people, let's start it over, okay? You know, so true. There are things and <laughs> they may be dramatic change with Jesus teaching or display. But look at the most of the people he raised up. He said, my father lead you to me. If you don't know the father, you will not know me. That's just his statement. Mm-hmm. So in a sense, he somehow the father already, right? Mm-hmm. How do they know the father? What do you mean they know the father? In Jesus' assessment, it's a word mystery. I mean, more than Christians just slide over and said, yeah, I know what that means. You don't know what that means. Well, how Peter know the Father? Before he exclaims that you are the Son of the Living God, they know you're the Messiah. Mm-hmm. I mean, is that making sense to you? I have done Peter don't know it. Don't himself don't know the voice of God. Mm-hmm. Don't know that inference. So how Peter then know the Father? That because that knowledge leading him to acknowledge Jesus as the son, uh, mm-hmm. that led to the Father. Yeah. Huge question mark there. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. I will tell you my personal story. This I think it applies to you guys as well. You see a lot of human standard, religious fabrication, the one word, religious frameworks. Mm -hmm. Try to tell you who you are. It's oftentimes the word obscured. Let me give you some serious pointer to re reform your thinking, to invalidate who you are, yourself, okay? Study yourself. I'm just not self-centered, it's self, no. self review okay? Yeah. If you are born before time began, do you think a preacher can convert you? Maybe. Mm -hmm. But we emphasize that to a point that's when I become a preacher, that's when I become a God. I'll propose to you, maybe somehow you already know God. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, somehow in David and Paul and Jeremiah, many people's lives, Jesus said, everything was wrote by God. So born again, people are supposed to have that experience in a certain extent, to a certain extent, articulated or not. He said, basically, I know you when you are in, my, in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. And this in same David said, before I was in my mother's womb, I was a sinful. Right? So, mm -hmm. so how do you reconcile that? That's incredible to reconcile that. Now, until you have experienced that, you will never understand it. I went through it. So that part, it don't depends on my own living the consciousness as a human being. But the reason why we do all these things because we continue uh, the agency for understanding the dialogue of things, always a man with a think how he can think. He know how to think. We don't think, there are things you don't think. Yeah. <laughs> it's not entering to your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's beyond your awareness. Yeah. <laughs> it's nothing to do with what you think it is, but so we can acknowledge that. Just like today, everybody said, we are scientists, we must know the world. You know what the known, I don't know the person is not, the mass that is known to human being in detection, in windy, is only a small fraction of the whole mass of the universe. Yeah, five, and most five, of it's really unknown. Yeah. yeah. So, but we, we try to say, we know the universe, man. Yeah. We figure out how it is created, how it is going, what it's about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good luck. I mean, you try to build as a huge machine, try to figure out what's <laughs> beyond your detectability. Yeah. And you, you know, just think about it. Mm -hmm. But somehow we have this audacity to say, I know the universe. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can see and touch and even the best mean to detect. The other most mean you can detect as a human being is like only less than 20%, I don't know the number, yeah. I think it's 8 or 12, not just sure that percentage. That's a, that's a wheat, you know, mm -hmm. the mass is a wheat, yep. the universe. So somebody only has the ability to not only 8%, 12%, the whole universe, you want to tell me you know the whole picture? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just a propositionally arrogant, a hubris, hum right? So, mm -hmm. so you, don't, you don't say, hey, come on yourself, I don't really know that big things out there. Mm -hmm. But with the parameters I know, I think the universe is like this. Am I? Mm -hmm. Pre preface with that. Premise with yeah, that. Am yeah. I? So Absolutely. yeah. Absolutely. By the way, I think I'm pretty dumb. <laughs> Why? Because I tried my best, I still don't know how to even get that the city person yeah. <laughs> I mean, And are you dumb? Mm -hmm. You don't know what that means. I mean like an ant. You know, yeah. look a bird or fly, he can't. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like a fish trying to say, okay, where you got to do farming? You know, how you harvest? Impossible. How you can eat? Mm -hmm. eat? Eat honey, drink tea. <laughs> how you can do that? I drink whatever I need to be <laughs> in the ocean. Yeah. I'm teaching you, but uh, those are things that have got a huge flow there. Mm -hmm. The stereo fish there kind of flow. To the part of the Bible, man think they know. Mm -hmm. About you, about your life. Mm -hmm. You started with the proposition, the teachers, the theologies, the theologians. The, the man has continued to tell you, you know. Mm -hmm. 
It doesn't say it's sorrow is you. You don't know. But you you somehow being know. Is that making sense here? Mm-hmm. You know, so the proposition for example, free will. Mm-hmm. What? Let's not just use the philosophy to define free will. What do you know about the free will? I mean, give me a break, am right? A ping pong ball can bounce all around in the stadium, right? Everywhere. <laughs> you pretty free will, <laughs> but it's in the stadium. <laughs> yeah. When the steam engine smashes down, I hope you don't get a crush. <laughs> so, <laughs> man's lucky in this sphere of bouncing around, think he can control the whole universe. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Until something smacks him, you know? I have free will until you run in the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. I have free will until you lost a child. I'm sorry, the tragic things, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah. I mean, I have free will until you win the the, the what is it called? The, the you know the 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 thing the ride the tickets that can earn all the money. What is it called? Oh, lottery ticket. Lottery ticket. Yeah, <laughs> so hope you got free will, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's always the real free will. Mm-hmm. The good there to be the luck. <laughs> yeah. Are you telling me you free will? Mm. You control that? <laughs> I'm teaching you so, yeah. mm. and By the way, people said, Oh, I got the lottery, I still have free will. You don't. Mm. You know. Why you want a a, a best car? Why you go to the island want to buy a, buy some a mansion? Why you want to do that? Who told you to do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Who told you to do that? You? Mm-hmm. I hope you don't think so. <laughs> so. You have no idea you're being programmed. <laughs> That's what a lot of people do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, so, yeah. You're free will. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Somebody will pre- 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 premeditate that for you. Mm-hmm. It's a sign to it. You don't have your mind if you just think like that. And the best is said, no, I'm not going to let those people tell me how to spend my money. So how you spend it? You really think, you know, <laughs> you break off. No. Whoa, hold on. Maybe those people don't want to spend it. or <laughs> permit it either for you as well. <laughs> I'm talking. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you got to do with a lot of money, you know, so. If I win a lottery, I'm going to share for sure, but I'm going to really share. I'll have something good for myself for sure, but I, that's that's not important. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? I will build something that can be reproductive, mm-hmm. you know, and enable people can get the firm food in their life to be wonderful people, you know, so build whatever needs to be done. But I definitely don't not going to spend it, squander it, mm-hmm. you know, so I want to enable people. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, a lot of money is a early one stack. Right? So when I enable people, we're going to have it. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm not happy with a lot of money. <laughs> it's like a, a penny is through in something. I, I can get a dollar out of it. I'm not trying to greedy. I'm saying mm-hmm. by that process, enable a lot of people, you know, help a lot of people. And that's a true help. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a true help. You know, is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Where we were. You don't let me talk, man. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's this uh, mindset breakthrough about many conditions, framework you brought out with, mm-hmm. to take your life, the marker, the framework you applied, is mm-hmm. maybe not God. So that's the part of you before you have the full capacity, like you thought, right? Mm-hmm. Educated. Think you know, had your own point of view. Have confidence in one of things. Now let's construct that. Man. If you build up as you grew up, to, oh, maybe the thing I brought up with is not that solid. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's distorted. Maybe it's wrong point of view, right? So mm-hmm. I think that's what you got went through, right? So Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So how you do that? And it's not merely wrong. It's about how to get the right way to look mm-hmm. at things. 
to reframe the thinking, you know, re reconstruct the thinking as a way of thinking, way of life. We must the mind of the knowledge one, Christ, mm -hmm. or become flesh. Yeah, mm. you know, so that's most time has to do with the supernatural enabling, mm -hmm. you know, supernatural. How oh, I know certain things before it happened. People think that's a can do. Mm, it's, it's not predictability. Mm -hmm. For me, was the thinking, oh, this one happened, that happened, how about that one? Mm -hmm. Wow, it fits the bill. Mm -hmm. I didn't predict it, <laughs> I'm just thinking about it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nominal. I mean, God did this one, God did this one, He said, I'm going to deal with this one, and the next one is going to deal with it. It's not me to tell <laughs> the future events. I'm just saying, God did certain things. Yeah. I see a pattern here, am I? So, and that's what, oh, maybe that one. <laughs> <That's a, laughs> mm -hmm. Is that making sense here? You know, mm -hmm. so, now that's a we. That's a song, it's we. Uh, and recently I dis, uh, discussed somebody, I said, as the early days, someday, I was intuitively know something going to happen. Mm. And before I even believe it, I know that. I have the capacity, I know something going to happen. And, you know, then people use um, super sensitive, super whatever, you know, predictive mm -hmm. ability. For me, it's not. It, it's it's not a sensitivity thing. It's not something, oh, sometimes it happens like that, okay? Let me not deny that. Sure. Three times. But it's a more a deductive thing. Mm -hmm. You just see certain things chaotic, you, there's a certain pattern, you just see things going to have problems. Mm -hmm. And you expect that problem going to happen, and you pretty much know where they have a problem. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, so certain persons carry them a certain way, so this is no, they're going to have a problem. Mm -hmm. So, no, they're going to have a problem. <laughs> so, so, is that making sense to you? Mm -hmm. Same so things working out, you know, the environment, the more accessible and more knowledge about the environment where you go, then you just a person that's with that bill, you know something gonna blow up. You know? I mean that's yeah. <laughs> is that making sense here? You know? You don't have to know. Yeah. It's yeah. like you know, you you're you can evaluate the the process of what's going on, right? Yes. And kind of just know directionally where that's gonna head. Yes, right? yes. I, we we talked in my career, I've done a lot of work in manufacturing plants, right? Uh -huh, yeah. And it's the same kind of deal. You can walk through a manufacturing plant, just look at the level of quality, look how people are treating each other. Yes. And you can pretty much predict how yes. the products are gonna end up at yes. the end of the manufacturing yes. plant. Yes. Right? And in turn you can also trace back. Yeah. See where defect came from. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Especially how many parts the procedure yep. goes through you go to that Oh, that part is in the assembly line. Yeah. That person of that machine have problems. Yeah. Uh, is that making sense here? Yeah. You know, so mm -hmm. that is nothing predicament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's a technical thing. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I use the handle as a young person don't know accounting. Mm -hmm. So I, allow me to share my little story a little bit. I'm good at beating tests. There's why they're not good at beating tests. I don't study a lot, mm -hmm. but I know how to beat the test, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. <laughs> People said you're smart. No, it's not about smart. It's about to know something is testing you. Mm -hmm. You face it with the right method, mm -hmm. with the right kind of information. And it doesn't take a lot to know that, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't take enough. Can I share something before I forget? Okay, so on that point, on that assembly line, I have another imagery mm. in my back, my head. It's like a story. So you are a good swimmer. You are sent to people, and you know somebody come you with you. Let's see a body, uh, what a guard, what a kind of swimming guard, am I? What is called lifeguard? Lifeguard. Yeah. yeah, you have the young guy come around. Are you season, am I? Mm -hmm. This young guy, he's excited. He could to jump into every occasion. He can do everything, right? And you find somebody, and there is water, and this guy careless. You know, he doesn't study or something. No, he cannot swim, yep. and he is a nervous wreck. <laughs> you meet your friend, maybe, yep. and you basically had to warn your new friend. Said, hey. 
That guy, that guy in the jungle, yeah. Addy, you better not let him grab you. <laughs> My son, I'm exactly. sorry. So, <laughs> please don't let him grab you. I think you, he going to have a problem and yeah. you're going to jump ahead. I tell you, don't jump ahead. Let me grab you, okay? Yeah. You know, you you let me handle that situation. Am I? So yeah. you're going to literally mm-hmm. warn that, you know? Yeah. You're, not, you're not able to stop anything. Mm-hmm. But you can see something. You can prevent something terrible could happen. Mm-hmm. Is that making sense to you? You know, so other don't think about it. You know, as a young person, suppose you're not sharing out with him <laughs> that day. Mm-hmm. He was others. He just didn't, didn't. You can't stop him, basically. You tell your friend, say, hey, don't go there. You're gonna drown. Mm-hmm. And don't grab people, by the way, when you drown. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, but he can't help. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so the young man, you know, excited about it. He 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 can't help either. And then come time to get some trouble, so I'm supposedly rescued. So they will say, How do you know that? Do you predict that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, exactly. Yeah, not exactly. That's my yeah. point. Not yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Back to the story, mate. So I was a new accountant. I don't even know how to enter data, you know, those days. But after a year, I was a year, maybe a little bit more. And most of my half years, so that's how long it takes. Obviously, in charge of all the reporting mm-hmm. for the big car, big corporation, man. So, you know, have 30 some subsidiaries, you know. So, so, a lot of work to do, mm-hmm. you know. So, and I had to produce the reports on the fifth this month. So, I mean, drive the manager crazy. Because the reports are the subject to the upper level, yeah. they, they don't wait on you, you know, they have to produce their reports. Mm-hmm. So you can't be, you know, be late like, or wrong. Yeah, exactly. You know, it doesn't matter what you like, <laughs> you have deadlines. So, yeah. and, uh, so the manager was happy to hand it over. And it, you think about the 30 more places, mm-hmm. all the reports are reconciled together in five days. It doesn't matter. Each boy want to give me the date on time or not. Mm-hmm. I was a mess. Mm-hmm. So after two months, I figured out this is not going to work. Mm-hmm. I began to know very intuitively every manager's capacity in all those subsidiaries. Mm-hmm. I began to lay out my point, not make it. It's how, that, how in the world I can manage that? Mm-hmm. Because I set the chaotic things to follow a pattern, mm-hmm. you know? So, yeah. <laughs> the first thing I did, I said, okay, those are decent managers, not on site, you know, they're going to listen to me. I can't knock on the door to tell them to do. If they just don't drop my phone, don't answer my phone, we, I got the problem. I can't get the data. <laughs> so here we go. So I want every manager to cut the date before. Every day is the 31st, the last day from the month. I said, no, I want your day to come before five days ahead <laughs> to produce my reports. <laughs> so, you know, I want you to do that. And later on, I got to shift the dates. Mm-hmm. And the first, I give you more time. By the way, you need to recognize this is five days. You have managed to get on top of it by the end of the month. You know, <laughs> you're not going to have your salary. Mm-hmm. No one going to pay it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No big deal. Yeah. Whoa, you know, I'm just a little clerk. Well, I'm going to tell every management that I'm going to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> but I got that power. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, man. <laughs> they, they, now they know, I mean, they have to treat me right. <laughs> so, <laughs> they eager to ask me to help them get the data <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 I changed the whole dynamic. I don't need to ask them where the report or do you work it out. Yeah. They ask me at a time. <laughs> so mm-hmm. can I get it done? You know? so, yeah. <laughs> so when I in- inspect them or say, you know, pick up the phone, they, uh, you know, you can hear the voice very nice there. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is it gonna sign a to check him on it? <laughs> By the way, I began to give a certain bonus system. I said, give me at least 10% of the bonuses. <laughs> Some do a good job, I'm gonna give you bonuses. I'm doing a good job. Okay, no bonus. <laughs> 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 I I can't really report on the numbers. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> oh, so the man, my management, oh, it was a shock. <laughs> so the general manager pulled his hair out because it's always on fire. He was so happy that he stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about you know mm-hmm. setting what's chaotic uh-huh. you know, to, to patterns, yeah. right? And yes, w- what you did there, yeah. you know, is aligned your priorities. Yes, right. Yes, yes. yes, and and so when you yeah when you did that, that that set the set the pattern. Yeah, right? the second thing I did is uh, just brag a little bit. I know all this data. I don't have to manually input or calculate to balance everything out. Mm-hmm. I know there must be something that help me. So, so import the data mm-hmm. and boom, get it over. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have no idea what that is. I don't even know it exists. Mm-hmm. So I don't use a PC. This computer desktop is new to me still. Mm-hmm. But I know some software can do that mm-hmm. because I have handled uh, by that time called uh, the, you know, what we call the data, the greatest database called the. Uh, Fox or something. Fox, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> That's a raw database. So at least it gives a calculation. Yeah. You know? so, <laughs> so I said, there must be something working in Cap Manu- Manubi- that do that, you know? So, mm-hmm. um, okay, I don't know what to do. I said, and nobody knows what to do. Mm. And there was a new graduate signed in the general office assistant. He was had nothing to do, you know? Then he was on the computer guy, I asked the computer guy, nobody want to help me. Mm. I said, I got the help. So, can tell me somebody that's working here? Oh yeah, there's a guy who had nothing to do, Mickey, help me to figure it out. <laughs> so <Perfect>. sure enough, <laughs> that young man is a new grad in the new hire. And I said, can you do this? Yeah. You know, Windows has a Excel came out. Yep. I said, what yeah. an Excel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was he had nothing to do, he was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> so he taught me Excel, you know. <laughs> so I got Excel like, oh wow. So That's I work on all the things I just like hey, you know, this business like, okay, enter the data, there you go. <laughs> Everything's like I don't need to ever use a calculator anymore. Wow. Before that everybody had to use a calculator, you know yeah, this yeah. this, this yes, yeah, so I'm oh, very good at that. Yeah. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, so you have to do all that. Mm-hmm. By the way, you're not sure. You have to do it again. Yep. <laughs> no one has to three times the list yep. for the reports, right? You know. Yep. <laughs> so mm-hmm. that was uh, a lifesaver for me. I was so happy about it. <laughs> so, Excel. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That guy was a uh, highly recommended. I mean, later on, we have a you know, the most in the hurry got promoted so very fast. Mm-hmm. Yes. Work with me. Uh, we're close. Yeah. Sorry. I was just say that's like a. <laughs> That parallel, the, uh, the, the jump, the jumping from calculators and paper to Excel. Yeah. Right. You know. It's like it's so people just how oh, you do that. Yeah. As if I'm doing something. I didn't do anything. I just use the right tool. So mm-hmm. go ahead. I'm sorry. When no, I was going to say. I mean, I think, I think God works in us. Something. I'm not trying to get overly deep, but mm-hmm. I think God works in us. Somewhat. We we want to get better at our. Yes. Our calculator and yes. our paper. Like, yes. and we're like, please, God, yeah, yeah, make it yeah, better. Yeah. And he's like, Don't. okay. <laughs> yeah, give yeah. it to it. Yeah. So, it's a different it's way a matter to do asking. this. It's a matter of asking. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Mm. I beg the guy who knows the maneuver to do that. You must be able to give me this program. Am yeah. I? Yeah. It's the right program. Am I? So yeah. he was a so arrogant. I mean, that guy's arrogant. Sorry. Mm. I mean, we're different to work with. He's a good person, but he's just like him. Don't bother me. Nobody yeah. knows I'm just smoking. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I mean, I had to squeeze him out. Mm. I mean, he was a bother. So, and I was a little clerk, you know, so. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, there's more. You want to hear that. Mm. Because I was able to handle the database, I said, everybody has to input every data from the, call, we call it the, Operation department. Mm-hmm. Now, in commission learning businesses, there's a lot of data. Mm-hmm. Everything that they, <clears throat> they have the database in that format, mm-hmm. literally sitting there in the computer system. But it's separated from the accounting system. Yep. So the two, la- two, two the, the com- we're using a, well, I know, centralized computer. IBM, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah. so, so it doesn't look compatible. So I said, in the world, why I should I re enter all the data? Mm-hmm. I mean, the lot of data, you know? 
hundreds of people working on this data here at my our department only see people you know have to input all that data mm -hmm. copy it again yeah. so there must be a way to pull that data out and make <laughs> one transaction yep. and streamline it and everything is crazy mm -hmm. until a gentleman from hong kong came around and said yeah we can do that i said okay if we can do that what do we do about it yeah I said, oh, your 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 account software is not compatible. We had to change the software, mm -hmm. but not every purchase software is already set in motion. Cannot do that. Mm -hmm. I said, then maybe I can somebody to help us to build the software, mm -hmm. just for our usage. Mm -hmm. And sure enough, and there are computing software, mm -hmm. and uh, I still remember called the launch or waves, you know. So, it's my old, old university department that trying to produce accounting software to compete. <laughs> and they just ready to market it. And they wanted to work with people like us to, to, to pilot it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. to pilot it. So, wow. Wow. so he, you know, I said, like, can, can I do some connection? You know, get them over to, to pilot us. They were very happy. We paid the money for sure a little yep. bit. But they were hire, send a team of people. Yep. However, I kind of worked for half a year and designed the whole software for us. I was involved in the whole process, you know, so, yeah. Wow. yeah. It was a very interesting time, you know, so, because I did those things, mm -hmm. uh, the, 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 the whole company recognized, mm -hmm. you know, there was some, some, somehow this young man had some, yep. some, some, some solutions, yeah, do yeah. things differently, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody stuck, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Chaotic, yeah. That's a save a lot of time, manpower. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More importantly, we all can look at the same data mm -hmm. and don't have mistakes. Can you see any from the mistakes? Now, further, mm -hmm. later on, I began the, the called ISO system, right? Mm -hmm. You had to, in order to be a, a international, now we're entering WTO. You had the international standard apply. They have this IPO, uh, what I, ISO system. ISO. <laughs> yeah, that was tough. But that was narrowed down, basically. A lot of people, a lot of procedure, but in you know, narrowed down, you literally know when some error happened, you know instantly who is responsible for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, that's, you know, nobody had to, to go back to trace everything around the said who, who made this mess, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah. It was so efficient for us. Step by step, our business come to a place I can just sit back mm -hmm. and don't worry about anything. Mm. Later days, my working hour is about two hours a day. Mm. Most of the time, it's a sun check. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. That's a different company, right? You yeah. know, so. Mm. And I was so bored. I said, you know, this is a waste of my life, you know. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Nothing to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, most time, you know, meeting with people, sure, but it's office hour, you can't do anything, you know, mm. I can't read, I can't squander, just cracking jokes. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, sorry, mm. nothing to do. So, yeah, mm. where we were, God see our life differently. Mm -hmm. When he knows that you belong to him, he instill in you, a point, a knowing. I don't think you come to this fellowship, come to me, come to team for fellowship is not can it's definitely not cancel. I mean come on. Mm -hmm. You all have heard of the the Lord before whatever, you know, so mm -hmm. yeah. Man, remember I had this gene? Mm -hmm. Twenty years or something? Yeah. <laughs> Jaden, I believe too. Yeah? I'm sorry? I said with Jaden, I believe too. Is that right? Yeah. Jaden is a young in the, man. He's in the dream. Yeah. He's in the dream. Yeah. Oh, wow. If we're talking about the same one, anyway. Is that right? Yeah. The young man. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. I still don't know how that play out, but it's just something crazy, right? Yep. Mm. We leave expectantly. Andy, can you pray for us? I don't want to overwhelm you guys. Mm. I'm gonna share those things with you. Is that you got to get into the pace of God? Mm -hmm. The pace in God, when his, your life is in his plan, I think he sovereignly lead you. Mm -hmm. Now, question thinking often think you're saying, we're going to figure it out. Somehow you not need to make it. That's a false pressure. 
God will make sure you make it. No matter you want it. Mm-hmm. It's like you want to go to the north. You know, you're the arrow, you're supposed to shoot it, go to the north. I think there's something in us, it's like this, uh, this, this, this uh, you're like an arrow shooting for something. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, you know, so it's very hard. It's t- t- God, we're not interested in our, our small mistakes. However, we need to pay attention to everything for sure. sure. Yeah. But he more in, he interested in how you use all life situations, seasons, mm-hmm. circumstances to teach us how to be a son. Mm. And you must learn some holistically. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I, I just read something this morning, I said, you know, you don't learn things with an easy time. Mm. Therefore, struggle. It's a hardship. Hardship, the other side is a struggle, right? Mm-hmm. You really learn something mm-hmm. sure. and become a man of capacity, substance. Is you know how to handle hardships, mm-hmm. but that's not a more man think, mm-hmm. because man want to ease, wants less responsibility, wants to kick mm-hmm. off, you know. So we want lottery tickets. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, mm-hmm. but that's just missing the whole point. Why you you gonna struggle? Mm-hmm. We told you not gonna struggle. The point is you struggle, you overcome, mm-hmm. you become a new self. Be, you know, so you. <laughs> you grew beyond your your past, you know. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's not a heroism; mm-hmm. it's a pattern of life. Yeah. You know. So for you must understand changes, uncertainties, is implied mm-hmm. in growth. I mean, you grew, you expand. What are you thinking about? You know. Yeah. I mean, birthing transformation. Does that means you enter into a territory, a realm you have not able to even enter a customer to. You're not equipped to handle before the right time you're able to enter into. Mm-hmm. Nobody is equipped for new things. Mm-hmm. If you're fully equipped, that's old things. And that's not new things. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like Matt. Matt is a... <laughs> you think like me? <laughs> I'm sorry. Huh? That's a good view for sure. I don't know. You know it's more than you. That's my point. Mm-hmm. It's life. Mm-hmm. It must, that's your real life. Mm. So it's not important to you. Whether you like it or not, mm. you understand or not, that's the life yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, like a gravity law. You can't change that. It's like a, <laughs> it's, it's not important to you. It's, it's reality. Mm-hmm. You know, reality don't change for you. You adapt to reality. Yeah. <laughs> Is that making sense? It's not motivating speaker said, hey, thinking like this, you'll do better. It's no, no, it's, that's, that's nonsense. I'm sorry. It's not a motivation speaking. Mm-hmm. It's reality. Mm-hmm. That's reality. You want to follow the river, you're going to have to follow the current. Mm-hmm. You know, travel is a river, right? You got to follow the current. Mm-hmm. The current, current. And life, the currents of life, it's a change. Mm-hmm. It's always in change. And change for good or bad. That's decided by us. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And change in God's will, led by God's spirit or not, that's also decided by us. Mm-hmm. Many of the things happen to me these days. Even moments I look at things, I'm suddenly have a day job one moment. Amen. Mm-hmm. Ah, this is supposed to happen. Usually I get super excited. This is I get used to it. <laughs> Just a flow. That's a flow. I mean, you don't, you don't get over excited. Let me see this to you to to confirm this point. When I come from a desert, then Sacramento, then to this place. I mean, this is the best place in the world. I thought I'd come here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was so breathtaking, mm-hmm. overwhelming, glorious, majestic, beautiful. I thought, oh my God, there is that place. <laughs> 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 is that right? Mm-hmm. Every time I see you, they're like, oh. Wow, I live in the that. best place. Yeah. <laughs> so, I still do that. Yeah, I still do that. Yeah. yeah. After a couple of years, no, no, no that's too long short. <laughs> After three or four years, okay, you know, so be here before that. Yep. Same trees. <laughs> the same trees. You know, I'm still breathtaking by the, uh, you know, travel by the lake, you know. Mm-hmm. But in the beginning, I'm miserized. I can't get my eyes off it. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, what? I got this a huge beautiful lake, man. I don't know how many people say it, you know. I'm so lucky living nearby it. <laughs> so, what well, exciting for me because I saw it in the region before I moved up here mm. in the desert. I mean, I'm not going to let me rumble a little bit. Back in the desert, we used to, in the desert, had nothing green. I mean, mm, mm, almost no water. All the palm trees was people, you know, basically manually watered, that's yeah. called, yeah. Mm-hmm. And they have a golf course, yeah, <laughs> and, and they keep it, yeah, yeah, in the Palm Spring region. <clears throat> I'm living in a more, more terrible place called Delta Spring. <clears throat> and the, the temperature is over 100, mm-hmm. average, in summertime. Mm-hmm. High is 20, <laughs> in yeah. 20s, uh, you know, summer reaches 30, right? So mm-hmm. it's crazy. <laughs> you can't walk on the streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So it, it's just, you know, nothing green, except you go to the mountain top, hide in, the, mm-hmm. in behind, there are some trees on the mountain top there. So when, uh, on the mountain top, there are other places that we have dry up to the mountain top. Sometimes go there to just for fun, to see the scenario. Sometimes to pray, right? Mm-hmm. When they are dried up, we join somebody. And this, we found some, there's a huge lake you know, half the mountain, mm-hmm. you know, lake hitting there, there's villages, you know, there are somebody raised the horses around. There's a little bit flat corner mm-hmm. on the ascension to the mountain. I said, oh my, I really want to have a place like this, you know? Mm-hmm. And a little valley, a little farm, and a lake. So that's just like, you know, you're so bored by the terrain, man. You're just like, Oh yeah, so drive back some some day later. God began asking me to pray because he told me I'm gonna move other place. I had no idea. And when I saw that lake, I thought that's a good place to live. And we have to live there, you know. If God give us land, I will be great. And there are people who live there. I know, you know, believers. So, yeah. I said, wow, okay. God, I really want a place, you know. It's, just like that, you know. <laughs> I try it down off, you know, just try it down mm. uh, around the uh, down, uh, you know, morning and down time. What it called, you know, sunset time, mm. you know, so. And I try to was thinking about suddenly had a vision. I saw a vision. I was a bird. We got saw the mountain tree ranges. I saw a place. Mm. I saw valley, and I saw the lake. And I saw, I don't see so much, I know, I know somehow to do with the seaside. Mm-hmm. And all those characters in my dream or vision, it's impossible to think they're going to come together. Mm-hmm. Who would think a snow mountain is going to buy the seaside? Mm-hmm. Who would think a lake is going to buy the sea? I mean, I would, yeah. you know, it's impossible. Mm-hmm. So, and I saw in this uh, massive tree, I mean, evergreen tree in the area, and there's a lake in between. It was a pure bluish lake. I saw the whole thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And God pointed the point spot there. You will leave it there. Mm. That's long before we move out of the desert, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I said, you will leave the alcohol place there. Mm. Yeah. That's why I know I'm going to live in Granny for a long time. Mm. We own Granny, but I'm not able to live here mm. in the beginning. So. Is that amazing? Crazy yeah. or not? That's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, where are we? My point is, God is able to accomplish things we literally don't know how to accomplish. Mm-hmm. It's not casual, you know? It can't do it. But the dream I had was in Austin, I had it. Come to go to the seaside. Mm-hmm. You know, go to the seaside. I needed to ask Andy to pray. I hope I encourage you, gentlemen. You, you, you're. Oh, I like this statement. Security days is a righteous and step are foreordained by God. Mm-hmm. What do you think about that? You know, because I believe you're called by God. Some of our young people are called by God, and He made provision for everything in order for. Is a purpose to be accomplished mm-hmm. in their life, in our lives. 
And if you see what I saw, you will have no doubt it will do it. It's matter. Sometimes we can try that, you know, we don't see a lot, right? <laughs> Go ahead. What else? Mm. No, I'm just thinking it through, yeah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Mm. Let's pray together, brother. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jesus said, Fear not, for I overcome the world. Wow. The wall cannot hold us back, hold us down. Lord, let's pray for these two dear brothers, your son, servants. The encouragement, the confidence, and arising in the heart line. Uh, you're going to forge something in them. What you said is a, a rock line. <laughs> Not sandy castles, <laughs> indeed. But it was nothing rock. I pray they will build their life upon that rock and not beat themselves up, not spiritualize everything in a, in a, in a, in a, what, word, what a way, Lord. The wind methods, exciting methods. I often think Abraham did not every day have a word for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. But he heard once a few times and he believed. He woke it up. And you were with him. He every occasion almost. But it's life pretty mundane, Lord. Actually trouble leading rather than trouble free. So it's Moses life. Lord, we, I pray that we as a humanity, three of us here, will not bog down by those so-called ideals of a human life. Our happiness, our settlement, our fulfillment is not on this side, Lord. May you continue to enable us to rise up to to see things as you see it and seek out the things that you delight in mm -hmm. and to walk out things that you want us to express word become flesh the living testimony of the son of the father love and the sovereign power thank you jesus this power you said you exerted when you read jesus Christ from the dead it is not one time power, one time show. It's not like a, a flash in a moment. Well, what was those things in the night? You set off of like firework or something. It's not firework, Lord. It's a enduring tree grow to be a candlestick, Lord. Always I'm standing even before you. Even now I'm praying for vision. Your spirit of working the heart to sanctuary, encourage, and uh, substantiate, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray for Brother Andy, Lord. Thank you for the wonderful things that you are stirring, you are refreshing, you are establishing in each one of his life. I also pray that his vision go beyond this present season, go beyond his own hustle. Reach down, uh, reach up to heaven, Lord, to see his destiny, his assignment in you. And then bring every element, every facet, every engagement life into that light. Thank you, Jesus. Knowing that you, you, 
we see light. And you make us be the light of the world, Lord. Similarly, I pray for man. We celebrate the fact that he overcome many things. Hallelujah. The spirit of heaviness, <laughs> the spirit of uh, anxiety. I want to thank you for the good things you are doing in his own heart, Lord. The liberation and it so happened. The delight <laughs> found, the, found your home, Lord, in his heart and become a member of your household, citizen of your kingdom. This so readily fit in. This is what he has been searching for, Lord. Thank you that we are privileged to be part of that settlement with him, that journey with him for Thank you. Continue allow us to link heart to heart, spirit to spirit, light to light, to move forward, Lord. For our great joy to serve you, to see you smile, Lord. Thank you for his family, each one of them came. We pray for healing. We'll continue strengthening and release, more than physically, emotionally, but even spiritually, Lord. Continue allow for light to shine as a living testimony and, and living victory for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray for those young people who are touched by you especially. We have the opportunity to continue to seek you, Lord, and uh, be received by you. Lord, come in and heal the wound, come in and heal the, uh, the, the inner attitude of thing, Lord. Let them each one be sweetened by you. Each one be uh, enlightened by you, Lord. Joy, peace, and righteousness by your spirit. May this be our life, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We pray for our community. We pray for team. Mm -hmm. Rachel, Justin, Nicole, John, Katie, uh, eating and uh, logging and those pray for for every young man Lord mm -hmm. especially coming generation only the encourages one Lord thank you for their devotion for the heart we mentioned their names before you Noah Elijah Benji Isaac Naomi Esther Kila Keaton uh, my mom and, uh, and, and others, those has obviously they've been touched by you, Lord. Hallelujah. And pray for the Lord's children as well. Hallelujah. Who am I missing? Am I missing anybody? And I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I pray for those who have been touched by you. We'll continue to enjoy your presence and, and into your protection. Uh, Lord, allow them to withdraw from the world, able to have victory over the devil, and he endears himself to you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In this, we pray for our business, more than opportunity, resources, but even manpower, Lord, knowledge. Thank you, Jesus. Give us a perfect plan, Lord. I pray for Kenya sense mm -hmm. as he pull through certain things and pray. To continue to find the joy, confidence, and provision in you, Lord, through you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Mm. And you go ahead, Lord. Mm. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Because we see. We see you moving. We see you. Touching the, the young one's hearts in such a special way. And I just pray, as Emmanuel did, that you would protect them and guard their, guard this, guard their hearts, Lord, in this time, that they would be established, Lord. In good things that they would be built up, Lord, to be 
stable and there will be a young a young tree that's established well in the right placement and with the roots reaching to the water. Mm-hmm. I pray for your your blessing Lord over us parents and over the leaders leadership Lord that you would uh, <coughs> just bring bring us into alignment even more together and then also with you Lord so that we can really um, show off your design Lord for unity and 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 correct um, establishment of things, Lord, in your culture for the young ones. I pray that we would be a uh, a living example of what you desire for your sons and daughters, Lord. Mm-hmm. I pray for um, Miss Kim. Mm-hmm. I pray that you would. Give her relief, Lord, from from the things that have been weighing down on her. Um, I pray that you would just reveal to us, Lord, our part in um, what it is that you are what you are doing here with us and and with Kim too. If you were uh, for your way, Lord, to be to just be the the standard, mm-hmm. to be the the thing that we mm-hmm. are able to hold to in every circumstance and every. Mm-hmm. Part of life, in 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 blessing and in want, and mm. in the ups and downs, in mm. hardships, mm. in gains and losses, and mm. in our stumblings and our little mm. human falters and failures. Mm. I pray that your way would be upheld, and that you would really. Just take uh, our willing hearts, Lord, and, and use us in that way mm. to, to, to be a, an upholding of that standard. Mm. You guys um so much appreciated loud by by Chana some time on team John and me in this fight we are family really to that into heart yeah love you that in a human relational way um, we need to recognize God has put us together in us Mm. Um, yeah. There's no other way to explain. His spirit told us, isn't it? So, mm-hmm. um, yeah. so thrive in the Lord. The life had difficulty, man had responsibility, but do not put a city on the top. Um, yeah. You just started. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Andy. God use people different. He speak people different. He speak where, where the heart is. Mm-hmm. Really not. That's my thing. His speech, his smartness, his heart, and the heart. And, yeah. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do not be impressed by nominal Christians because everybody try to be 
and greed or articulate or whatever is rich man. That's not me, God goes in. Think about the Moses, yeah. Abraham. Think about those people. Yeah. You and I are gifted differently. Just recognize that. You know, so you know how you're being taken by me while they're being enhanced by me. So. Mm. Yeah. So. Is that me? Yeah. And I enhanced by you. I like you. So very much because you're quiet. Because you always supporting, always encouraging, always try to be a best friend for anyone then to you are always a straightforward about, you know, so mm -hmm. you were sharp. If something you just feel wrong, you know, so you know, you don't you don't really bet <laughs> but I think that's word good, you know. So humble, gracious, patient, kind. At the same time when time winds you you don't you don't call you know run away, you just rather rather on the center of front to confront it. Which I think I think I like that kind of thing. So, you, know, so. you can't give always give in to evil. We're not be troublemaker. But you can't let the Pharisees tell you, hey, don't preach. <laughs> so, so, I mean, oh, mm -hmm. the evil people tell you, say, oh, okay, let's let's send some demon to intimidate you. Know, so, sorry. You can't be chased by evil. Um, you must be a standard. You must be a force for the Lord, with the Lord, through the Lord. And then, you know, sometimes required to set your face like a flame. Sometimes I said, one man standing, right? On the mountain top hold the standard. You, one man standing. Don't expect too many people going to hold you the banner up. It's your duty. Mm -hmm. Others cannot hold it, give it up. But you're going to hold the standard. Thank you, Jesus. I am the standard. I'm not saying I'm a righteous. I'm talking about how I'm a... Mm -hmm. I'm standing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just watched a movie. That's incredible. Mm. To this effect, last night I got a theory. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Huh? It's a terrible movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bloody movie. But uh, that is the same spirit, man. Mm. The, the tank movie? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yes. You know? Mm. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's not a hero. I'm just said uh, That's a life where to put on me. I was going to make the right choice, you know, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to face what, <laughs> what comes to me. I like that, you know, so mm -hmm. that's a terrible part of this. <laughs> but, <Yep. laughs> but my mother, you know, yeah. I'm not a military man, but I like a many certain people have this militant, you know, they're not afraid to die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they walk in the thicket of the like MacArthur, for that reason, like a general Douglas MacArthur, mm -hmm. you know, you know, people come from those kind of background. Whatever to show you, whatever they talk, I think they still matter with substance, right? Mm. Yeah. You don't tell me they are not. Mm. You know, they may have a hard flaws, but they are true character, you know, so. I'd rather they be flawed in their own way mm -hmm. <laughs> than find the politician yeah. <laughs> give up <laughs> just try to be a man pleaser mm -hmm. and uh, maneuver situations to suit for his own gain you know? so mm -hmm. I think that's that's despicable so is that making sense too you know? so, well regardless we must teach our children to be persons of principle mm -hmm. you know we can struggle, we can think, but I, I don't want the viewer in the meters, in the fundamentals, in the basics. Yeah. So then we don't weaver. Somehow they will learn on the weaver. Mm -hmm. So make a decent mistake. Don't just, hey, you know, make the mistake. Oh, that's a mistake. Huh? Don't ever talk about it. I don't mention it. What a coward! I'm sorry. So, I mean, that's like a live a life. Everybody makes mistakes. Don't let the mistake disable you, destroy you. I, I rise up from the ashes, right? from the room, 
rebuild, man. Right? So, mm-hmm. Not foolish rebuild, am I? Stubborn rebuild, but not everything like in the whole together. Just know that. So mm-hmm. yeah, so you know, so learn to rebuild. Learn to mm-hmm. by the way, the rebuilding build something better, mm-hmm. more solid. So yeah. thank you, Jesus. Can you guys pray for me? I hope I don't force encourage you guys. I think <laughs> that kind of uh, tenacity and attitude, brother, mm. that the children will really know the difference. Mm. You know, so in the past when we feel not pay attention, but today is what well, they see the difference. They see you stand your ground, mm. you lay the good foundation, you don't bend, you don't waver, not stubbornly. Okay, I'm talking about the, mm. not rigid. I'm talking about the. Mm. Daily to God, am I? And now, uh, yeah, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. On our shoulder, we must be able to learn to, to carry some wheat. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. And mm-hmm. carry that wheat for others who depend on all to carry wheat with others. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Carry the ark required oh. a lot of shoulders. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And to be done in unison. Hallelujah. It's hard. Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah. In unison, you know, thank you, Jesus. Take a practice. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. I think we're coming down place with the Take learn the pace too. Yes, yes. It's not one man show, man. This mm-hmm. thing's dangerous to think it's one man show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes one carry the weight more because I was need a little bit rest. Mm-hmm. It's no shame to say, I need a little rest. Can you carry more weight for me? You know, so, but we still are. In communication. Yeah, we are burden sharers, mm-hmm. right? Yoke sharing. You know, mm-hmm. so, Bible said, do not yoke with yourself easily with anyone. Mm-hmm. On some of so you don't yoke a donkey with a horse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You must yoke them together, you know, compared with the gun. The horse with the horse. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I don't I don't want a white horse there either, so mm-hmm. yeah. those are simple terms of life. Well unfortunately West Virginia and they become so individualistic. Mm-hmm. Not simple, it's mm-hmm. so individualistic. Yeah. We don't think those things are needed anymore. You mm-hmm. the interests, use the reward of money, whatever, so is whatever you know ambition try to call it i think that's the wrong kind of a basis mm-hmm. some from which we build that have unity you know unity must be the same vision of life mm-hmm. same way of life thank you jesus mm-hmm. amen hallelujah mm-hmm. and you go ahead mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes lord we lift up our brother to you mr manuel Thank you for really the standard that that you have that you have um, brought forward in this people, <clears throat> and on a large part because of Emmanuel's. Um, revelation and and heart for you Lord we just we want to know we see we see you through him Lord and we want to know you the same way We thank you for uh, <clears throat> the way that, <clears throat> excuse me, the way that you've taught Emmanuel through his life. And we thank you that that each each step along the way was uh, preordained and given to Emmanuel to walk out. And we thank you that you have uh, so faithfully uh, walked with him for his time. 
we just we praise you lord for your faithfulness and for what you have done the things that you've done are beyond what we can even comprehend and and yet we're only halfway we still have more to go we pray that you would uphold Emmanuel as he strives lord to bring your culture to this next generation mm. we know that that's a huge mm. um, it's a huge shift lord Hallelujah. i pray that you would bring more willing hearts lord and more people whose whose paths have been preordained, Lord, to be a part of this walk. I thank you, Lord. Thank you that you, you so, so greatly have ordered each one, each step, and, and each person to be along the path. I thank you for the, for the coming uh, to fruition of things, Lord, this year that we've been waiting for mm. as a people and individually too mm. before we were even a people mm. <laughs> we've been looking for you Lord. we've been looking for your your way to be uh fruited out lord in the people mm. and now as we see you move and we see the steps um be uh, enlightened I pray that yeah. you would just uh, continue to to work mightily and deeply with Emmanuel mm. I pray that you would uh, bless him in his in his endeavors on in in uh, Kenya too mm. with the people there I pray that there would be <laughs> breakthrough Lord with them we we'll got a bunch of beautiful brothers sisters there. Yes. Mm-hmm. And they're so excited. I was briefly talked to them. Mm-hmm. They were helping Mr. Come on. Away from their homes, obviously. So back outside the back, they were, you know, mm-hmm. talking. Thank you. It's to praise God. <laughs> <laughs> Made a lot of noise. <laughs> <That's not max. laughs> was encouraging. Yeah. So everyone is so excited to 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 come in to see hello. So mm. uh, so affectionate. You know, those people went through so much, man. Right? So mm. and so so much. Uh, yet they love God. Mm. This is like so I don't know where you know so 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 uplifting you know yeah. so it's like you talking about our hardship come yeah. on so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah that kind of encouraging yeah. attitude yeah. you know so yeah mm-hmm. nothing beat them now and that's something mm. because that means tremendous uh encouraging to me mm-hmm. in that regard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I think about it, I'm a little bit ashamed. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice city. Mm. Allow everyone to serve the Lord with all the hair, all the you know. Mm. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. Father, indeed, we thank you for bringing us together with the community in Africa for the encouragement that they offer to us, Lord, for their hearts towards you. I thank you for my brother Emmanuel, Father, for his life, for what you have put into him, Lord, for the way that you have constructed him. 
The Lord give me a thought, so I don't know how to verbalize it. I don't want to register this moment for you guys. It's 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 not just a noble thing, as we sometimes think about it, to be spent. I think it's most fulfilling and beautiful thing for a person to be spent by others. That's so contrary to to the world, you know. Mm-hmm. I really want to be spent by God's people. You know, I want my life means something to them, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm happy to be spent by the young people. Happy to be spent by the saints. You know, so, mm-hmm. yeah. Because that's making life so worthy of it. Mm-hmm. Worthwhile. So not worthy, worthwhile. So mm-hmm. make me so happy about it, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Lay up treasures um, in heaven. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, it's a different way. May want to have, you know, I think God's, when one's in charge from us, we want to be spent. So mm. we're, we're, you know, so, yeah. It's difficult to think about, but it's true, so, yeah. Mm. Finish your thoughts. Mm-hmm. I come in agreement with Andy that we pray you continue to knit us together, Father, in this community, and that people would come alongside Emmanuel to help him shoulder more of the burden that is upon him, Lord. For we know that's the way you've designed it, Father. So we welcome those opportunities, Lord. We ask you for them. Mm. Pray your rest may be with Emmanuel, Lord. Mm. Your recharging that comes, Lord. May you continue to pour your grace out upon him. Continue to use him to build and labor in your kingdom, Father. Mm. We thank you, Lord, for the way you moved Wednesday night. Mm. That when we ask and seek to spend time with you, Mm. you are more than happy to oblige. And that just being in the presence of your spirit, Father, we can't help but be transformed. We can't help but to be healed. Mm. The words don't matter. The circumstances don't matter. Mm. It's the presence of your spirit, God. Mm -hmm. Mm. We thank you for the mighty work you are doing. Mm. and the children in this community, God. Mm. That you have called them out, touched their lives individually, Father. Mm. That we see aspects of you, very unique aspects of you in each of them, Lord. Mm. Your grace has already begun to pour out upon Mm. them. Mm-hmm. We pray your hand of protection over them, Father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Continue to do your work, Lord. Continue to grow them into overcomers, Father. Mm-hmm. No matter what circumstance. No matter what evil is brought their way, that they will overcome and your light will shine. Mm. 
ordain their steps, Father. Mm. And light the path for them. Something gonna happen there, young gentleman. Liam. Liam. And Pandy. Pandy, is a. Oh, something stirred up in each one's heart. I'll pray for them. Thank you, Jesus. We do pray for Hattie, God. Mm. Such a beautiful young heart, Lord. Mm. We know the hardship that she has endured mm. as a child. You have used to create something beautiful, mm. Father. We pray for your release, Father, for your freedom to be poured out upon you, upon her. Break any chains, Father, that are there. Call her to fullness in you, Lord. We thank you for Liam, Lord. We thank you that his inner self is beginning to come forth. That we're having real conversations with him where we can see his heart in God. He is starting to feel safe enough in this culture to truly mm. express his real self. <laughs> mm. We ask that to continue to come forth, God. Mm. Bring brothers beside him, Father. Mm. Build those divine relationships, Lord. Benji already have a special relationship with him, I think, and that's mm. Benji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> and now you need to bond already. So Lord, just bless that thing, mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm. Mm. Hallelujah. Two plans: you can go home and get square some dinner, or you can just see something more simple with me, so I can feed you a little bit. So. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm game on the second one. Second one? Yeah. Okay. But I, I'm, I mean, oh, I'm so-